everyone, what's up? It's Storm Fury PK. Welcome back to another tutorial video. So, on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use events when scripting missions. Alright? So, I'm going to keep this very basic and I'm going to show you guys the basic way to use events when you're scripting a mission. Alright? So, let's go. So, uh, how to use events? Uh, well, I'm going to show you guys a way to use events, okay? So let's, uh, we have three soldiers over here, let's uh, tag them, uh, these are the Germans, so short form for Ger, right, um, let's give a waypoint over here, <laughs> so what I'm going to set is an event will uh, trigger uh, these soldiers to move to that waypoint, right, so I'm going to show you guys how you guys can do that, okay, so this is the triggers and we're gonna make a command over here command is um, in actor waypoint um, tag these german soldiers and the waypoint is zero okay so if i click start they will automatically move to zero but uh, we're not gonna let them do that we're gonna hold them behind a condition okay so the condition will be the event Alright, so this is the event um, set to work. Okay, and then here set up an event by like German move. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so now they are behind a condition. So without this condition being activated, they won't move. Okay, so on the next uh, test two, test two, uh, we're gonna set a delay. Like delay 30 seconds or uh, let's make it short five seconds right and now here we have an event okay set do not set it to reset just set it to set set and this event here German move okay so after five seconds and e this event will be activated right so as because this thing is behind a condition which is event so let's click start after five seconds, the soldiers will move to that web point. There you go. Well, you can do it uh, normally, like uh, set those soldiers. Uh, it's easier to do it like uh, set up a delay over here, five seconds. Then it's easier that way. But um, you guys can use this as an event. Uh, this thing works better when you are calling a large number of soldiers and uh, you have to make a certain number of waypoints so this thing works fine like that way right uh, well let's explain it more uh, openly like how you guys can use events okay so uh, here you have the soldier with the waypoint but um, in order to make like a uh, like here are one group, two groups, um, and three groups, right? So all you guys can do is that uh, you have to make all these uh, three groups uh, move to that waypoint. So German two. I'm showing you guys how to use events. Okay, how do you, how you guys can do it using events because events can make your job, make your work more easy. All right, I'm going to show you guys how it does. Okay. We have three German squad, three types of German squad, one over here, one over there, and the other one over here. So what you're gonna do is this is the test, okay? Test one. So they are behind the con condition. Okay, so we're gonna make another delay. And three seconds or you guys can say five seconds. And we're gonna copy another five seconds, we're gonna copy again. Okay, on this one, we guys, uh, you guys can make uh, like a uh, button zero, but uh, German two, and the next one, is, uh, give it German three. Okay, uh, this system is best when you are calling out counter attacks or waves of in enemy attacks. Like you guys can, uh, this one is test, uh, this test one is for infantry attacks, uh, set them 
uh, behind the condition that is the event and then you guys can make another one for panzers or tanks or armored cars so this system is better to work with a uh, counter attack or waves of infantry attacking or waves of infantry attacking a, uh, or you are attacking with waves of infantry like that stuff so yeah this system is best when you are using uh, like a counter attack type of mission or a wave of infantry attacking or in whatever they're doing so so yeah if you guys uh, like uh, divide this every every infantry attacks like on test section one there will be infantry on uh, test section tanks uh, you guys will set another event like uh, tanks so this thing will be behind the tank and here after delay after five seconds uh, this event starts okay so after 10 seconds like uh, uh, the you guys can make the tanks section like uh, activate all right by activating this event the whole tank section of this command will be activated and now tanks will start to roll up that's what I am trying to explain all right I hope I'm not getting very uh, like uh, mixed up because it's very basic uh, you guys can uh, divide all your attacks into certain uh, extra different triggers and then you guys can activate those triggers using events over here so this is very easy to do it all right you guys can now uh, like uh, set here 10 to 15 types of attacks or sorry or events uh, it will be easier for you like on one event uh, we have tanks uh, on another event uh, trigger we have uh, infantry on the other one we have air attacks on the other one we have artillery strikes etc etc so yeah this is how you can use events uh, the basic way to use events when you are scripting a mission right so hope everyone understood this video I have hope I'm not uh, being too fast or I just got things mixed up alright so if you guys don't understand anything or how I explained it there's always the comment section below to comment below uh, what you did not understand or did it help you or not right so I hope this video helped you guys and I'll be bringing more tutorial videos in the future right so stay tuned everyone and I'll see you guys on the next video thank you guys for all your support on the channel if you enjoyed it make sure to give a like on the video and please do subscribe for more if you want to check out my mods, links are in the description.